Hey guys, welcome to a new video. So there is this sewing pattern that I ordered a couple months ago. It's been months now and it just never arrived. There are some issues up the supply chain. It was a pattern for several different styles of stays, but like fashion stays, not functional stays. They don't actually offer any support. They're not boned. Um, they're just really, really cute and meant to be worn over your clothing as a fashion item. I'm really, really excited for this one. But before we get started, I have a little word from today's sponsor. This video is kindly sponsored by GlassesUSA.com, my favorite online glasses store. GlassesUSA.com is an online eyewear retailer that offers over 9,000 styles of frames for both eyeglasses and sunglasses at really affordable prices. They offer prescription glasses and sunglasses at up to 70% off of retail prices by cutting out the middleman so that you can shop all your eyewear needs from the comfort of your own home. They have their own in-house brands that carry beautiful frames but they also carry a bunch of designer brands and they have every style and color and type of frame imaginable and almost all pairs can be ordered with prescription lenses or blue light blocking lenses. A complete pair of glasses with frames and lenses starts at only $30 and basic prescription lenses are included with all frames, including designer brands. They offer free shipping and returns, a 100% money back guarantee if you are not satisfied with your glasses and a 365 day product warranty. I have been wearing glasses USA.com frames for years now and some of my ultimate favorite most worn glasses are from them. So I thought I'd show you some of those today. Of course, the pair that I'm wearing today is I think my most worn frame at the moment. It's kind of my go-to. I love the shape and color of this. It's a very unique pair of glasses. And I think it suits my face well. Another one of my favorites is this frame right here, which has blue light blocking lenses. So I love using this when I'm editing or just behind the computer for long stretches of time. It's nice and large. Again, I think it suits my face nicely. I love the color of this, it's black and gold. And the last pair is this one, which is more or less the round version of that other frame. It's again, gold and black, which are great colors. They go with my style and what I wear. And I really like these as well. They have a little bit of a vintage vibe. There are links to all three of these specific frames in the description box below, as well as links to the GlassesUSA.com website. I highly recommend checking them out if you are looking for new glasses. I am very, very happy with mine and I keep coming back to them. So I can definitely highly recommend them. Be sure to check out GlassesUSA.com through the links in the description box. And now let's move on with sewing. I absolutely adore those types of fashion stays and I love that they are kind of in fashion right now. So I do not want to miss this opportunity by waiting for that pattern any longer. So I decided to just use a pattern that I already have and make myself some fashion stays anyways. So the one stay pattern or like um, similar enough pattern that I have is of course this one, the one that I used for my 18th century gown, the simplicity one. I know that this pattern works, which is great, but I do want to alter it. So what I want to make is a pair of reversible stays that I could use from both sides. I think that would be really cute because I have these two scraps of fabric that I have left from other projects. So this one I'm sure you're all too familiar with because I've used it quite a few times already. Um, it is the IKEA fabric with the birds and flowers and butterflies and I think this would be absolutely perfect. This is upholstery fabric and I think this would be perfect to make stays out of. So this is going to be my more sturdy layer. And then the other side I want to use this like olive mossy green linen that I have. I'm sure it will go great with a lot of my wardrobe. So I think if I combine the two and make them reversible it'll be Good. And I also want to change the shape of the stays because obviously I already have a pair of stays that is exactly this pattern. And I want to make it look a little bit more like the pattern that I bought, that I wanted to make. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my pattern pieces here for the stays and I'm gonna fold them up at the waistline here so that my fashion stays end right at my waist and they don't have those little flaps on the bottom because I think those make it look very historical and I'm going for a little bit of a more of a modern kind of cottage core um, princess core type of look and I would really like to make closed straps because the stays pattern comes with straps that you have to tie here up top um, and I want it to be a little bit more of a sleek design so I only want lacing on the front so I'm going to remove the lacing here just um, connect the strap directly and I'm also going to try and cut the back on the fold so that I don't have to do lacing in the back either.
progress check-in. So I have both of my bodices ready here. I didn't have enough fabric to pattern match, so I decided to just make sure there was something interesting happening in most panels. <laughs> so I have a bird here, I have at least part of a butterfly here. And then for the green one I decided to do interfacing after all, because there is going to be quite a bit of tension on this because it does have that negative ease of course. So just to be sure that it is sturdy enough I decided to do interfacing on this layer. And now I just need to fix them to each other. And I considered for a bit, since I'm not going to bone this, I could just sew them right sides together, flip them inside out and leave it at that, but I think I would really like to avoid at all costs um, one of the colors peeking out while I'm wearing the other side, or like the, the inside fabric coming up, because they don't really match perfectly. <laughs> and I also do really like the look of bound edges on stays, so I'm going to do the binding. So I might as well just fix them together wrong sides together. <laughs> So I think that's what I'm going to do now, and then I will have my reversible stays, the base of them, pretty much ready. Oh, I do think, actually, speaking of boning, I should do one boning channel right where the lacing is going to be, just so that it doesn't tear the fabric. Good thing I remember that. Yes, I'm going to do that. One boning channel, one piece of boning, so I need to leave room for that. Okay, okay, let me do that. It's the next day and I just went into town to buy some notions. So I got a bunch of this ribbon. I ended up going with ribbon instead of bias tape because it was really hard to color match this green. I bought a little sample of this and nothing was close to this color except for this. So I just ran with that. I'm going to use this to thread the front lacing as well, but I think this should be all right to do the binding with. So what I'm gonna do now is trim off the seam allowance of this and then bind it with this ribbon. I think I'm gonna do that by hand. It's gonna take a while. I might binge watch a show. And then next, I think I will move on to doing the eyelets. Guys, 
it is done. And I absolutely adore it. <gasps> this is so cute. <laughs> I want 10 more of these. I want them in all colors and all patterns and every single fabric that I have, I want one of these because this is just everything. This is exactly what I hoped for. I just, oh, I absolutely adore it. I think it is so cute. Just this print, this fabric with this dress, I think is absolute perfection. And I will wear this every single day for the rest of my life. That's not true, that's a lie. There are other things I also want to wear, but it is amazing. <laughs> I think I made a good decision on binding this by hand, because, I mean, it's a lot of work, but it pays off. It looks, it just looks so much more finished and neat. And I'm very, very happy with the way it looks. I'm happy that I chose the green binding, the, yeah, just, it, it works, everything works. I went with gold eyelets in the end, as you can see, because I usually wear gold jewelry, so I think, this will go best with, you know, other things I'm already wearing. And I just adore it. <laughs> the only thing I would change if I were to make more, which I probably will, because I absolutely love it, um, is that the straps are a little bit short. I should have lengthened those even more. So now they are a little bit tight around the armpits on the bottom here, and it comes down just above my waist. If it was maybe two centimeters lower, it would have hit at the perfect spot. Now it's just a tiny little bit too high. I don't think it is too noticeable. It doesn't bother me too much. It's not uncomfortable to wear and I think it still looks good. I'm out of breath because this thing is rather tight. <laughs> but it's okay, it's okay. I am not actually laced in, so it's completely fine. I love this print so much. I hope Ikea still carries it because if they do, you have to go out and get yourself some and make this because Look at it. I am actually really curious how this will look um, when I do reverse it. So let me do that and we'll take a look at the green side. And here we have the green side, the plain side, which I actually think is really, really cute as well. Where the other side is quite out there, very ornamental. This one is much more pre-transformation princess which I love. <laughs> it's much more peasanty, even hobbity maybe. And I think this will be very versatile actually. I think this green would go with many dresses that I already have in my wardrobe. I can see myself wearing this with a white blouse with big, sh big poofy sleeves. Oh, I actually really want to put that on just to see how it would look. Should I? Let's do that. I am just, I am obsessed with this. I think this just makes every dress better. Let me try it with a blouse. A thousand times yes. I feel like a villager NPC, which is honestly just gold. And I could live in this outfit for the rest of my life. Just adore it. I don't know what else to say. This is everything. I want more of them. I might try and order that pattern after all, if it's available from anywhere, maybe Etsy or something. I feel like it's just really hard to come by right now, but I just, I really, want to have it because it would be so perfect and I could make more of these and just live my villager NPC dreams. But I am very, very happy that I was able to make this from that stays adaptation. I love it. <laughs> I do think I'm going to end the video here, guys, before I um, stand here trying out every single outfit in my wardrobe. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this reversible corset top adventure. If you did enjoy it, don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for lots more sewing, but also fashion, beauty, and lifestyle content. Don't forget to check out glassesusa.com. All the links are in the description box below. Definitely be sure to check them out. And thank you so much to them for sponsoring this video once again. There is another video here that I think you might also enjoy. You can go and watch next. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and I will see you very soon in my next video.